I just heard Bo and Michael talking. They are exhuming the baby's body. What? And it's not going to take them long to figure out that if it isn't Star's baby in the grave, it's Jessica's. Then we'll know that Chloe's really Star's baby. Oh my God, how much time do we have? How long does it take to do a DNA test? There's got to be some way that we can keep this secret. How? Short of derailing the exclamation. That's it. That's it. We'll just, we'll go to Uncle Bo and we'll, we'll convince him to stop it. We'll just tell him what a disaster it'd be to dig the baby up. This is Star and Cole's baby, Natalie, as far as everybody else is concerned. We have no rights. And if we start to make a fuss, we're going to draw attention that we don't want. But we have to do something. Look, there's only one story that will even make your Uncle Bull think twice about considering to exhume Hope's body. The truth. Okay. Okay, then we'll tell Uncle Bull the truth, okay? Because he's family, and, and he'll understand more than anyone. Well, we can't tell Jessica, no, we just... Stop, ask. Natalie. Stop. There is no way your Uncle Bo will even consider carrying on this light. Not even for Jessica. But the truth will kill her, Jared. Look, we will be there for her. Your mom will be there for her, your dad, the rest of the family. You're, you're saying that there's absolutely no way we can keep this from coming out, aren't you? Everyone, uh, as noble as I may think my reasons are, I have to figure out a way to tell Jessica. You can't be the one to tell her. Why not? Look, you said it yourself. Jessica looks fine, but if she's blocked out what happened to our baby, she's only a house of cards, and we have no idea what knowing the truth is going to do to her. Okay, fine, then we'll just bring someone else in on it. We have to tell Mom. What do you have to tell me? We were... We were thinking of eloping. Oh, you can't do that to me, baby. You know what? It's, it's over. It's just the pressure was getting to us. And Okay, listen. <sighs> as much as I'd like to hold you to that, you guys have to do what is best for you. Right, I second right? that. You sh Don't sacrifice your happiness that you should feel on your day for anyone. Right. Okay, we're off. Um, we'll see you at home, and we're taking Roxy home. I'll see you at the church tomorrow, baby. Uh, okay. Where, where's Jesse? Oh, Jesse left just a few minutes ago. Um, I'm sure she went home to, for the kids. Okay. Good night, darling. Good night, Jared. Yeah, Thanks. Come on. Come on, Roxy. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry I blindsided you, but I didn't know what else to do. Roxy right there? I, it was not the time or the place to tell your mom. No, it's just we're running out of time. Well, you heard your mom. Jessica's home with the kids. Maybe we give her one last happy night with Bree and Chloe, and then we put an end to this tomorrow. Tomorrow's our wedding day. So then, tonight, let's put an end to that. You know what? You're right. I mean, tomorrow, the truth's gonna come out, and uh, we're gonna have to cancel the wedding anyway, so we might as well do it tonight. And by this time tomorrow, no one's gonna be in any sort of mood to celebrate. So, we may not be getting the wedding that we wanted, but I will be damned if I go to bed one more night without my wife. Come on. This ring, I be wed. That that which God has joined together, let no man put asunder.